Hello YouTube, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we're going to be doing a comparison for you between two top selling guitars uh, kind of in the entry level acoustic guitar price point. And that is going to be between this new model from Fender, the uh, CD60S, which is new for 2017, and uh, picks up from the CD60, adding the benefit of a solid top. We did a full review on this guitar recently, so go to our uh, page. We'll try to actually link it down below to see the review on this guitar, as well as those in this category, from Fender. Um, and that along with this, probably the top selling guitar in the world. This is the Yamaha FG800, which we've done lots of reviews on. We've included it in several categories, including top buy under $300, because uh, both of these guitars come in at the $199 price point. So this is gonna be a good matchup. So these are both really, really great guitars for your money. I've talked at length before about you wanna try to get something that at least has a solid top. Both of these guitars are dreadnought guitars with solid spruce tops and scalloped bracing. They both feature laminate back and sides, mahogany in the case of the Fender, and um, NATO in the case of the uh, Yamaha. They both have solid wood necks. Uh, they both have uh, rosewood fingerboards and bridges. There's a few differences between them, but they're very minor. The Fender is a 25.3 inch scale. The Yamaha is a 25.5 inch scale. The Yamaha has a slightly flatter fretboard radius at 15 inches compared to the more rounded radius of 12 inches on the Fender. Where you're probably going to feel the biggest difference is on the back of the guitar. The necks are different. Fender's neck shape is called their Easy Play Neck, which is new for this year on this model, and it's glossed. It's got rounded uh, fretboard edges, and it's kind of like a modern C shape. The um, Yamaha is a satin finish. It also has rounded edges on the fingerboard, but it's a little flatter on the carve and maybe has a bit more wood. They're both very comfortable, um, but this one is satin, this one's gloss, this one feels a little thicker than this one. They both, I find, pretty easy to play, but your mileage may vary, so that's a key point right there. The fact that the fretboard radius is also flatter on the Yamaha means that for some, with the thinner finish, or the thinner neck and the um, rounder radius, cording might be easier on the Fender as well. So that's something to pay attention to when you're in the store trying these two guitars out. Now, the bracing pattern is going to be a little bit different between them, but they are both scalloped braced. And like I said before, they both have solid spruce tops. So the differences you're going to hear are basically going to come down to the design differences between the two guitars. At this price point, these are two of the best guitars to look at. So without any further ado, we're gonna put these through their paces so you can hear what they sound like.
there you have it. These are two very affordable, extremely popular guitars. Uh, the FG800 from Yamaha and Fender's CD60S. Very similar in spec, but there's differences based upon how the two companies have voiced these guitars. And personally, I hear some interesting stuff going on between them. Uh, some modern sound on one of them, a very vintage sound in another. I'm curious if you heard it too. Tell us in the comments below which guitar you think sounded best, which one maybe you think is a modern or vintage tone, um, and which one you'd put your money on. Uh, we'd like to hear from you. We make these videos for you, so if there's something you would like to see, let us know that. Um, and if you're shopping for a guitar, go to our website, alamomusic.com, give us a call, Go uh, send us a tweet, send us an email, we'll have come in. We wanna help you find a guitar, put something in your hands that you can discover and make music with. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.